Welcome everybody back to Boost in Motion, guys. And today we're going to be talking about should you guys get test pipes, test pipes or high flow cats for your VQ Q50 370Z G37. So guys, hit that intro. Welcome everybody back to Boost in Motion, guys. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Thank you. So welcome back, welcome everybody back to the channel. If you are a returning Boost Motion subscriber, guys, hit the like button. Guys, you, that means you're part of the like squad if you're subscribed to the channel. Remember, please, every like that you guys give is something that you guys give back to the channel for free. It costs you guys nothing. And for my uh, people who are new to this channel, just found follow, follow this channel, just watch the video. Watch some other videos. If you enjoy it, hit also hit the subscribe button with the bell notification. But well, guys, let's go. Let's jump right into it. So you guys want to own your automotive journey. You got a VQ, 35, 37. But this one means me VQ, 37. I'm not too, I don't have too much information on the VQ, 35s, DEs and stuff like that. Well, I, well Maximas I do, but not like um, the first gen G35s. So I'm just, don't have enough information about it, even though they're very similar. But we're mainly sticking with the 3.7 tier, right? Now, let me do a quick screen share, and I want to just talk about, should you get test pipes or high-flow cats? So, boom, high-flow cats, let's do a quick, and quick Google search. Now, if you guys can see right here, okay, you have a difference. You have high-flow cats. We're going to click on one of them. For example, let's pick uh, Kinetics, right? Now, High flow cats and test pipes. What's the difference between the two and what's the pros and cons? Well, high flow cats are catalytic converters, pretty much that flow better. Now, your, your car comes with a stock catalytic cat. Let's leave it at cat because you know I can't even pronounce anything on video. It comes with stock cats. These cats are used to clean the exhaust gases that comes from the combustion of your engine to make sure that it doesn't kill the earth and the little duckies don't die. That's it. We want to keep pollution down. So what happens is with after, aftermarket catalyst converters, they use um, slightly different catalysts inside that um, flows air a lot better, and it flows a lot better. There's a lot less back pressure on the exhaust valves or just the exhaust that comes out your car. Thus, you gain more power because the air gets out faster. Just think about like this. I hate to use this example, but have your hand. <laughs> Of course, the air is taken very hard to blow out. No, you know what I mean. But if you, let's say, add a little bit more space between your hand, your fingers, it's actually a lot easier. Of course, I just put the full there. But you know what I mean. So it flows a lot better. But it still does the same characteristic of cleaning the exhaust uh, that comes out from the combustion chamber, which thus still has a lot, a lot smaller uh, carbon footprint and the little duckies will live. Now, the difference between that Let's see, you see that these are high flow cats. Now let's put in um, test pipes, right? Um, test pipes, right? Test pipes, if you take a look, don't look like that at all. Test pipes are just straight pipe. That's exactly what it is. So you're pretty much deleting the catalyst to convert it and just adding a straight pipe. Cool. That is the difference between the two. Now, um, let's talk about the pros on going with, let's say, a test pipe. Usually test pipes are honestly the smallest and easiest to install because there's no catalyst to convert it. And they're usually they're always cheaper than going with a high flow cat. Remember, this catalyst material is more expensive. It has nickel and other different type of um, uh, stuff. Uh, I, I hate to say compounds. I'm sorry. I don't know the periodic table, okay? But um, um, it, it's just simple pipe. That's really honestly it. It's just pipe and they add two flanges and that's it. You're good to go. Um, the other pros is usually, uh, not usually, test pipes flow the most. If you want to get the maximum efficiency of, of, of the exhaust gases, you go with test pipes because there's literally almost no black back pressure because it flows right out. Cool. Now, here's the cons of going with test pipes. The con is this. Well, <sighs> 
you'll get a check engine light. And I'm going to say this with an asterisk. If you install test pipes and you know that you're not going to get this car tuned at all, you will get a check engine light because the car is going to pick it up as if there's no more, as a catalyst to convert it went bad. There's, there's an oxygen sensor pre and post uh, catalyst converter. And they monitor the difference, the threshold. So if you delete the cats, the car's going to pick it up and say there's something wrong. And your car wouldn't run as good as it would if it was with the catalyst there. Cool. You want to keep the car happy. But with tuning, uh, tuning that allows you to remove that and fix these thresholds or these differences because you're optimizing the car for its performance. Cool. We got that? Cool. So that's really the only downside. Also, I want to also include here another downside with test pipes. Stay away from test pipes like this. Um, it's okay with going with test pipes like this because this is mainly just a resonated test pipe. These are perfectly fine to use. They're just used to bring down some of the bees in the cans noise, which is the second um, con I would say is you get a little bit of the bees in the cans uh, noise because of the way the valves are hitting and it just sounds like bees. It is what it is. Not super loud, but you will hear it. Cool. At least you guys understand and know that. Um, let me see if I can find the test pipes to stay away from here. Stay away from these test pipes. Any test pipe that comes with this flex section right here, stay away from them. They're not good for you. Because what's going to happen is the motor likes to shift sideways, right? The motor... The motor likes to shift sideways because with the amount of torque, it's always going to shift sideways. And the flex pipe is there so that it can actually move with it. But usually the flex pipes are in the Y pipe. When they add it into the flex pipe, um, the, 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 um, the test pipes, now they flex. And what would happen now is over time, they will crack and start to leak. And now you're going to have to pick, go buy another one or weld in a flex section just for it to crack again. Stay away from test pipes that have flexes. So those are the two downfalls with going with um, the cons with going with um, these type of test pipes. All right. Got you. So let's go back. Uh, bear with me, guys. Now, let's go back to. Um, let's go back to high flow cats. Right. Let's see if we can go back to that. Now. Here's the pros with high flow cats. It's pretty much kind of the difference of what I said a little earlier, to be honest with you guys. Um, number one, um, the pro is the pro is you don't get any check engine lights. You can run a high flow cat untuned and tuned. So that's the good part. So you can actually get this tuned, get a you'll get a little bit on the butt dyno. Not much. You will feel a difference mid-range to high end if you drive your car consistently, but the best way to optimize it is a full-fledged tune. Um, another pro, well, is you're not killing duckies because any exhaust smell and noises that's coming out, you're cleaning the air. So that's the second thing. Um, and I got to really leave it there. There's really no other pros we're going with it, like, honestly, because, yeah, you're not killing duckies and you're not killing earth. That's really it. I mean, that's what we shouldn't be doing, right? We shouldn't be killing the earth. <laughs> but anyways, moving forward, here's the cons I would say with the high flow cats. Um, the cons would actually, well, the first thing is you won't gain as much horsepower. Now I'm really honestly talking about two to three horsepower here. There's plenty of dynos out there for the VQ motors where you have a test pipe versus the high flow cat. And depending on the cell count of the high flow cat, sometimes these high flow cats have a cell count and this cell count, um, is read from like 100 to like five, 600. Usually the higher numbers mean there's a lot more restrictions. And I believe from factory, a lot of cars come like five, 600. But when you go with like maybe a Z1 or Connects, they may use like a, uh, excuse me, they may use like a uh, 200 or 300 cell, maybe a 400. Um, and that's fine. Um, but it may not give you as much horsepower if it was just fully decatted. But we're talking about two to three Will horsepower, maybe five, maybe five. But honestly, it's very minimal difference. And it's like you really went with a full test pipe just for that. It's really up to you guys if you really care to do, do so. Um, also, oh, the, sorry, I missed it. The other pro is when you go with a high flow cat, it actually dumbs down some of the noise a little bit in your exhaust if you have a cat pack exhaust. It may bring down some rasp. It may bring down some drone. 
but it'll, but if you have a drone exhaust, a rasp exhaust, you really can't do too much. All right. Now, sorry about that. Um, to go back to the cons, yeah, the uh, is uh, the price point too. I would also add the price point is actually a lot more expensive. It's four hundred and fifty dollars for this, but you saw the test pipes you could get for almost a hundred to one hundred and fifty dollars. It's a lot more cheaper. It is what it is. Um. Um, the last thing, Wilhos Power price point, and honestly, I would just leave it at that. Um, I don't think there's any other negatives going with the high flow cat, just really the price and some Wilhos Power less. That's really it. So all in all, um, I'm not bringing the video complete end now. Just give me a second. So when you want to compare the pros and cons of both, which I gave you guys the pros and cons, once you get these cars both tuned, they're going to perform very similar, right? But which one would I actually recommend for you guys to get? Personally, I'm going to leave this up to know the emissions of your state. I live in New York State, so um, we do the scans for the check engine lights. Um, not saying that everyone drives around check engine lights, but not everyone's going to get tuned. So I would recommend going with the high flow cat because the high flow cat, you at least want to deal with the check engine lights. And then sooner or later, if you want to get tuned, you get tuned. It's just another way of adding parts and modifications to your car. Um, but if you do live in a state like Florida where this is not really a thing, eh, go catless. It is what it is. Like <laughs> It is what it is. Just, you know, in Florida, they do whatever they want. So I would say if you want, go for, uh, go for catless, go get test pipes and call it a day. But it, just remember, at the end of the day, it's up to you. And when you do go with a full, like I said, catless, uh, test pipe or catless system, just know that you are uh, inducing more noise into your exhaust. It will get louder. Like high flow cats, it will be a little less, not not as loud. It's actually a lot more quieter, but not huge amount, but it's noticeable. It's really up to you guys, and I just want you guys to make the best choice for your money. So I'll start that, guys. Um, you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good night. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, listen, thank you for always banging with your boy moves. I'm really just trying to bring back these videos and update them for 2022 because some of these information is three or four years older. And some of them I need to update information. Got to. Got to update for you guys. So, sorry, guys. You have a good morning, good afternoon, good night. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you for always banging with your boy, Boost. And don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. You guys have a good day. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Do appreciate you guys. Love you guys very much. You can also check out the two links I posted for some of my other videos. Also, on top of that, if you want to purchase some Boost in Motion merch, definitely check the link that I posted also. And finally, if you've been watching all my videos and you enjoy them, please hit the link for to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.